Alright, and welcome back, and as you're seeing, uh, this is the retro gaming from the intro. That is the final intro I'm using for this series, and uh, you guys are just going to have to deal with it. This is a uh, channel overhaul, I guess. I'm sick of doing regular content like I've been doing. It's boring, uh, less people are watching, so I'm just going to do what I really want to do. I'm going to do retro gaming, the drunk idiots, and just regular commentaries, but still thinking of a name for that. It's all going to be put in playlists. And there you go. So I will still be playing modern games, but uh, I got my retro games, and I got any games for the drunk idiots, and then I got new games, old games, whatever I want to put in for the commentaries. So this one will go into the retro one because it's showcasing the new intro, it's showcasing Zelda, showcasing the overlay that'll go on these games. There's going to be special ones like this one has got the moon on the what the left side, the mask on the right side says you've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? So it's going to have stuff like that. Hopefully it will intrigue you guys. And when I do play them, unlike today, um, I will be, I guess, live commentarying the whole thing. Or live commentating, whatever you want to call it. So, and we're just going to talk about today, about uh, that, how I love my N64. And this, I'm seriously, this is the N64 footage. No emulators. Fuck that. I want the original on my channel. So, uh, the only one thing I will be getting is that uh, Retron 5, which is technically an emulator, but you have to have the cartridge to play it. So you put the cartridge in it, it dumps it into the system, and then you can play it. So it just plays off that. So there's, it's basically playing off of the actual game. Even though people don't quite understand that, look what's an emulator. Well, if I really wanted to just have an emulator, just use my fucking computer. So, But as you can see, I'm just playing the first day, getting everything all done. Got the ferry get in the map, get us fucking little kids, no, no pedophile, no pedophilia there, but uh, let me know what you guys think in the description, or the comments, because uh, I'm, this is it, you guys, I'm not doing it, I'm, I'm, fuck, you go by the Call of Duty video, fuck Call of Duty, <laughs> I will be getting the beta, and I'll put that up, but this is way more fun, and it's way cooler, and by the way, this is being recorded through the Xbox One to trick the system into recording it in 1080p so I get the best quality I can, it's upscaled quality and so I can play it on my computer screen which doesn't support uh, what would it be 480i interlaced so there's that and this is a long fucking video so what we're gonna talk about now is uh, Majora's Mask what I think really should happen, they did the remake on the 3DS, and they called that a remake, and it was a fucking Majora's Mask 3DS, they said the same thing with Ocarina of Time, whoop de fucking do You don't think that this game deserves a little bit better of a remake, like, say, on their Wii U, or their next-gen system that's coming up, the uh, NX, and I'm not gonna call it the Wii U a next-gen system, because it's, what, a little bit stronger than the Xbox 360? whoop de fucking do <laughs> so, Like I said, I love Nintendo games. Um, used to be a huge Nintendo fan, but they let me down with the Wii. That's when I that's when I hopped off the Nintendo train, before any YouTube stuff or anything like that. I was huge in Nintendo, I loved all their stuff, they, they, they could basically shit gold to me. And, and now, to me, Nintendo, like Wii, and Wii U is more like a dirty word. Like, who the fuck wants to play that? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, and like, you, you can plug in the old consoles, everyone will respect you, but you say you play a fucking Wii U, and people are like, what the fuck's wrong with you? You know, there's no, the only games they have on there is a the first party IP. They got no third party IP. Is Grand Theft Auto V on there? No. Call of Duty? Not much anymore. Why? Because Nintendo don't give a shit about comp competing with the other the other giants, right? And what they do, they fuck themselves in sales. The only thing that they're selling, really, right now, is handhelds. It's like the best-selling console as is, right now, no matter what. But then you go to the, the uh, Wii U and sold, what, a little over 10 million consoles? Maybe 11 million? So, what's really... <laughs> they're fucking stupid. Shooting themselves in the foot by doing that, and by not remaking these games to the potential that they should be remade, and with a new actual console, even though PC is still much better 
you know, I, I'm not going to get into the console race award crap, but PC is technically better because it can run anything. You know, even though it doesn't have most of the exclusives that all these other consoles have, which is better about game consoles. Plus, the other better thing about game consoles is you don't have to worry about upgrading stuff for when a new game comes out. It should just work. You know, and then uh, five, ten years later, or five to eight, a uh, new console comes out. There you go. It used to be just about five years, a new console comes out. Now it's about eight. So, there you go. And all that kind of stuff, I think this game's still amazing. I played it today while I'm recording this, and I will try putting it up today. If not tomorrow, Monday, but maybe Monday, I'll put up the Drunk Idiots episode. So... Well, let me know what you guys think. It should be 1080, uh, 30 frames per second. I think I can, I can record it in 60, and I did record Super Mario Brothers in 60 frames per second, and I think I put that one on Facebook, and it came out really good. And it is 60 frames because, like, seriously, when you're editing and uh, you go frame by frame, if you say I recorded Gears of War 3 on Xbox 360 and 1080 60 frames per second you go into the editor and say you press the arrow keys left to right we'll just say right and you keep tapping it it'll have double frames so you know the game's not in 60 because it's half the frames so and then you go into super mario world i'm recording that in 60 frames per second you go into editor same thing and each single frame has movement that is how you can tell if it is an actual 60 frames per second game so even if it is like say 30 you're not going to get the 60 frames. You can't even upscale it to 60. You know, try to cheat the uh, system by putting it up. So people who do that on YouTube, you're stupid. You're, you're stupid. <laughs> All right, so there you go. Right, let's see what else I got right here. I got Super Mario 64. Uh, Conquer's Bad Fur Day. I think I got Star Fox. Uh, there's a box behind me. And I, I could I, I could do Glover. Like Here, hold on. Just take a second. Can't tell I'm going through a box. A lot of shit in this box. Here we go. Pokemon Stadium. Bio Freaks. Uh, I think this one was like a fucking wrestling game. It was like WCW, like 2000. <laughs> One I will do, uh, I guess I'll do 007, just because I have a, uh, I'll do a review for it too, or whatever, and, and take apart and all that kind of stuff. I have a joystick on my N64 that is actually a GameCube joystick. I replaced it, and it works way fucking better. And everyone's like, oh, it's, it's a little too sensitive, and it's, it's not. If you're used to modern joysticks, it's not too sensitive. And, you know, say my Xbox, it's very sensitive. You see the GameCube N64 joystick? Very sensitive. You gotta get used to it. You can't just fucking barbarically move your thumb around. You gotta be a little bit more conscious about what you're actually doing in the game. So, you know, not talking shit on anyone, but you know what I mean. If you're used to a modern joystick, you're not gonna have a problem. I put all this crap back in the box so I can sit down. So, I hate those freaking school things. For a second, I was trying to get it to turn around, but I couldn't remember how. Right there, not too bad. So, but uh, look forward to a, uh, I guess, a tear down and show you how to replace the joystick in the N64, even though it's super simple. Um, and then I guess I'll show you guys. A re this is this gameplay all right here is all done with that joystick. So I'm just saying it's. Uh, I don't see what people are talking about because I, I have the old one. I think it's fucking garbage. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's a fucking gets old. It's got all that plastic wear in it, and the fucking it's just I don't know. When I was a kid, it was great, and now it just seems um I don't know if it'd be cheap. It's just not that great because we all, the joysticks we have nowadays put that uh, old N64 to shame. You know, love the console and everything. I would I'd like to. Uh, I'm probably gonna go buy a extra deck and start modding some stuff on it try to put an HDMI port um, make it smaller <laughs> bunch of stuff uh, I've seen online I'm gonna try doing some of that stuff I'm not gonna do SCART I'm just gonna try to get HDMI 
Um, maybe uh, do the overclock thing, make the graphics look a little better, put a fan in it, stuff like that. Um, if I do that, I will make videos on all of it, I guess. So everyone else can figure out how to do it. Even though I still got to figure out how to do it. So let me know in the comment section because the video is just about up. If you like the series, if you don't like the series, uh, go uh, file, go, go, go put a complaint in the complaint box. Because I don't check that shit. Guess what that one's from. If you can guess who said that, I'll, uh, I'll give you a hand job. Anyways, peace out, guys. Let me know what you think. Like I said, and hand job, everything, Pfft, whatever. And if you have any N64 games you'd like to see or SNES, that's what I have right now. Let me know. Um, maybe I'll play it. Peace out.